Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Mohammed El Zaidi from ESC Clermont Business School, and uh, it's the last day of the Facebook and YouTube live sessions that we have organized throughout this full week. And today we will be having three sessions. We are going to start with the first session where we focus on the student associations that are present in ESC Clermont Business School, uh, as well as the student life. So today I'm having the pleasure to have two students that are really involved in the student life, the student associations. So Orian and Viken, welcome to both of you. Hi. Hello. So if you Hi. could start by presenting uh, yourself to the public. Um, sure, should I go first? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, um, so my name is Orianne. Uh, I am 18 years old and I am first year uh, bachelor student. Um, I picked the specialty of marketing for next year, international marketing. And uh, I am vice president of the association, which is called Go to See, um, which is basically the, the uh, school's promotion association. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Viken. I am 21. I'm also a first year bachelor student. Um, marketing is also the specialization I'll be choosing for the second year. I am a part of four different associations. Notably, um, I'm responsible for the international poll of the student council. Okay, great. So welcome once again to both of you. Uh, within a few seconds, we are gonna start addressing immediately the questions that we had already received and prepared. Uh, we would like to remind you that you can, uh, of course, ask us your questions in direct through the comments section on Facebook and YouTube. So the first question that I'd like to address to Viken that we had received from Chen, what is the kind of support that is provided to international students uh, uh, by the school? Um, I think when you come to France, France is an international student, the biggest challenge is the French language. So first and foremost, school provides um, intensive French language sessions at the beginning of the term, and there are French courses. So the language aspect is clear there. Um, also, apart from that, there is um, help in finding accommodation, help in getting French administrative documents settled with, um, getting all the help from the French government that you get for you know accommodation, etc. So there are all possible help that one might require, which the international office provides, and now even the international association offers. Okay, great. Uh, moving on to the second question that we had received from Miley that I'd like to address to Orian. What is uh, yes. uh, the student, uh, what are the student associations like in ESC Clermont? What are their focus areas? Um, there are a lot. Uh, there are lots of associations in uh, in ESC Clermont, which means that uh, whatever you like, whatever you you want to do, you want to develop in yourself, you can do it. Um, you can either way take responsibilities in an association or a bit less. So it's your involvement uh, that you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna decide basically how much you get involved. Um, there there is a sports association. Uh, with uh, we have our own um, our own uh, teams, sports teams. So if there is uh, a sport that you want to practice um, and do student competitions, you can. Uh, there is also um, you can uh, take part in um, in the inter in the sorry in the international uh, association, um, which um, helps uh, international students getting involved into um, into the into the school um, and yeah basically the thing that's that that's great about um, ESC associations is that um, international and French students are mixed up together so there is no difference made between uh, between both yeah that's very important because of course it's um, of extreme importance for international students Definitely. that are coming to get to uh, make friendships with French mm -hmm. people and with French students so that's a very important aspect, of course. Okay, moving on uh, to the next question that we had received from Shadira uh, that I'd like to address to Viken. What uh, kind of extracurricular activities can I be involved in? Oh, there is a lot of things that you can do apart from studying here. 
um i think in one of the lives we also discussed the outdoor activities that you can do notably mm-hmm. skiing going on hikes etc and in the school we have all the associations who offer all kinds of events that are parties that are um you know specialized events focused on language so learning a new language there could be um visiting nearby towns several associations organize trips that you can do and then there are meetups there are um little um events that happen to sort of you know mix cultures to sort of introduce people to different cultures and different um ideas so all these associations as of course there's the sports association where you can you have a lot of diverse sports events that happen around the year there's also an e-sports association so if you are a gamer if that's something that interests you there's also a scope to do that um there's the cultural association there there are volunteering activities that one can get involved in so there are really a lot of things that you can do which is very difficult to sort of enlist in just a minute so so you have lots any, anything that you have passion for you would definitely fi- find a yes. place uh, that, that is uh, uh, that is fitting to your needs and to your expectations and definitely there's no time to get bored that's for sure okay that's great and uh, the four associations that you are involved with vikin can you just very briefly say what what is your role or what is the experience that you have had uh, within those associations so i am responsible for the volunteering services of the humanitarian association um we do events around the year you know fundraisers and different volunteering initiatives etc then there's the cultural association of which i'm a member again there are parties there are cultural trips um little meetups have that happens i'm the treasurer of the international association it's called the international student community um and the plan is to sort of provide assistance with language with integration of international students and a little um mix up of french and international students so that they can discover each other's culture and language and other things and i am responsible for the international poll of the student council which is called the bde and um as as a part of that we are working with the international association again to help and make things as good as possible for the international students who come in to ac clamo that's great so as you can see there is a huge uh, amount of effort which is being put into place in order to ensure that uh, the international students are integrated they're involved inside the school and not just in the courses but also in various extracurricular activities like we agreed on and how about you orian what is your experience that you have had with the with the few different associations of the school Um so as I told you I am vice president of Go to See which is the school's promotion association so we've been um practicing a lot to um to present um our bachelor program into different schools into um into forums into all that kind of things to promote um the bachelor um which is uh, which has been very um interesting on the selling uh, aspect of uh of uh, of business which is really great um and also i am now part of um of the communication department into isc uh which is as vegan said the uh, internationals uh the internationals um, association okay and you already talked about sports so lots of people you know they want to get involved for example in like uh, food ball or basketball or whatever kind of sports there are two kinds of people some people they just want to practice you know individually or uh, not on a professional level and some other people yeah. they are really good players so do uh, do those people have um, a place over here can they train and get involved with the school team Yeah 100%. Uh there are a lot of facilities in Clermont-Ferrand which uh which you can access um to practice on your own if you don't want to be part of a club or anything. Uh there are tons of of places you can go to and just practice your sport without um being uh without being disturbed or anything. And um uh otherwise if you want to play uh maybe more professionally be part of a team um you can either way join the sports association at the school or join uh an outside club um um in Clermont-Ferrand anywhere you want there are tons of clubs and and sports you can practice in a club anything yeah in all cases we also have a sports specialization so it's very yes. common for us to welcome uh semi professional and even professional players it goes from horse riding swimming rugby football pretty much every sport is available 
Okay, moving on to another area. Uh, there's a, there was a question from Tom regarding accommodation options that I'd like to address to Vikan. What kind of accommodation options are there? Um, again, there are many choices that a student is proposed as you come into France. Um, the school offers services with, an, with a partner agency called Mouvergia. Mm -hmm. um, you can use their services. They help you find an accommodation according to your needs. It could be a studio, it could be a one bedroom apartment as you want. And there are several options around the school in the vicinity so that you can, you know, it's a walking distance from school and all the utilities and everything usually is included in the rent. And the rents are not very high as compared to Paris or other big cities in France. Um, since Clermont is also a student city, the rent is also adapted to students. Um, you can share your apartment with a couple of people you know, or you can take an apartment by yourself. The choice is yours again. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there are many options from which you can choose in terms of... And uh, approximately uh, how much does it cost the rent per month? Let's say um, 300 is the least you should expect. Mm -hmm. And it can go up to depending on your, you know, your choice. It can, but the average usually remains between 300 and 450. And this includes all the utilities for the most part. Yeah, and we had seen it previously that there is a housing aid also provided by French government to all international students, which is a monthly payment given by the government to support students with their living uh, uh, costs. And of course, the school is willing so to help with uh, the administrative uh, part related to the application. So we would like to remind you that you can still ask your questions as we are nearly halfway uh, during uh, uh, this talk and this live session. Uh, we are focusing once again today on the student associations and student life. And we have so two students. One is a French student, so Orian and Vikan from India originally. So um, there is another question that we had received from Heba that I'd like to uh, ask to Orian. What kind of benefits do we get by joining a student association? Why is it important to get involved in those associations? Well, to be integrated, first of all, I'd say, because in associations, what you do is that you meet people that you wouldn't uh, normally talk to, and uh, you're obliged to um, to get to know people. You can hang out with them. Uh, sometimes you need to organize events with them. So uh, that's a very great way to integrate yourself into the school. Um, as well, you can get uh, professional assets. Um, as I said earlier, I uh, I've learned um, how to sell, uh, like the basis of it, uh, through my association, and you can get many other ma many other assets from associations. It's a very great way to integrate yourself and just um, enjoy doing what you love. And uh, for people, let's say for the students who don't have a good level of French before coming uh, to France, uh, Vikan, how do they do? Are they still, for example, welcome to join those associations or would it be a bit difficult for them? Like how, how would they manage based on your experience? They are welcome. Welcome as well as, uh, you know, French students. So there is no difference there. I mean, I have friends who are a part of some of these associations who don't speak French as well or did not speak French at all when they came in. So um, it's definitely not um, like, for example, I'm an international student myself. My level in French is not as fluent as a French person's. Yeah. Uh, nevertheless, I um, am a part of the student council, um, which involves in, you know, there's an election campaign and there, there, there are votes that happen and the you know team which wins the election becomes the student council and not speaking the French as fluently did not hinder um, that process for me at all. So it's definitely not a problem. Nevertheless, knowing French or at least the basis of it does help. And there that's where the school and other associations come in to help students who are you know, newcomers and don't speak French. And what is the biggest let's say a thing or few things that you have learned by getting involved in different associations and in particularly through the campaigning also of the student council what what are the most important things that you have learned throughout this experience i think for me it was um the cultural exposure i would say that was the biggest thing that i got to learn and 
I think any international student, you're coming into a new country, you're by yourself. It's a little difficult to sort of settle in, make friends, integrate, as Orian said. Um, and that's where international uh, association and other associations come in, where you get to interact with French students and students from all over the world. The school's international student population is quite diverse in that way. So I think I got a lot of cultural exposure, not just to French culture, but to many other cultures uh, of the world. And again, it helped me improve my French because there are French students um, with whom you can practice your, your French language, whatever, you know, just mm -hmm. by normal conversations. So that was another major thing that I got to learn. And then, of course, the work culture, the professional um, culture, since we also organize events and the campaign uh, notably was a very big undertaking. And it was very challenging to sort of get the funding, get the sponsors, you know, organize the events, make sure everything's fine, um, everybody's safe and everyone's having fun. And that's a huge project. We had like a party where we had 400 students who attended it and mm -hmm. it was a very big project. So that uh, organization part helped me sort of to discover the professional sector and, you know, acclimatize myself to that. Uh, yeah, so as we can see, it's not just really about like fun and having a good time and making friendships, but there is also a professional side to it where students are involved in uh, looking for sponsors, organizing events, uh, managing, building the link between students and the administration. There are lots of things that the students learn, time management, event management, and so on and so forth. Of course, they get to uh, uh, significantly improve also their communication and language skills, as uh, we can uh, stress. And for you, Orian, uh, did you manage to easily get in touch with international students to build a contact with students that are not necessarily coming from France? Mm -hmm. um, actually, yes, because um, I'm a part of the All in English program, uh, meaning that um, I am mixed uh, with uh, international students like Vikan. Vikan is in my class. So we got to work together on school projects. Um, yeah, we did. Since we do um, a lot of group projects, we are we get to be paired up with um, with international students, and it's just easier to uh, to get to know them and to get friends with them, to be friends with them. Yeah, and it's very beneficial because you get to learn also about another culture. You get yeah, to learn about it's very a different enriching. way of thinking. It's it's a it's a very mm -hmm. positive experience, especially that um, yes. you might have a project to later go abroad. So if you're not prepared of dealing with the international uh, uh, public, then it may be a bit hard. But throughout exactly. the experience in school, you're already experimenting and witnessing and managing and dealing with internationals. So it becomes a lot uh, easier later on. OK, we have a few uh, minutes left. So we are encouraging you, if you have any further questions related to the student associations, how the student life is in uh, Clermont in our city, please don't hesitate to ask us. So uh, one other question that we received uh, um, instantly now from uh, Darlington uh, to join the different associations, does it require a membership fee or is it free? Yeah, that's very important. So for Vicken, I'd like to give you uh, uh, the word for that. Uh, no, there are no membership fees. And the enrollment process is very simple. At the beginning of the year, we have one day reserved where all the associations present themselves to all the new students. And there is a forum where there are different stands of all the associations which you can visit. And if you're interested, you just note down your name and you know, contact details. And then they contact you, followed, and that's followed by an interview. Um, after which, if you are you know, eligible and if you're interesting to the association, um, you're recruited. It's basic recruitment procedure. Um, the interview happens both in English and in French, depending on whatever you're comfortable in. And it's not as, as serious or as, um, let's say, um, as it sounds. It's not an interview. As it's a not job a job interview. interview. It's yeah, a fun, yeah. fun meetup, you know, where you get to know yeah. the people of the association and they get to know you. But yeah, there are no membership fees and the enrollment is quite straightforward and easygoing. But it's also important, of course, to make sure that the students, they have the time that they can manage because it requires, of course, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of involvement. Commitment, so yes. That's why it's important to make sure that there is an interviewing process and then that people are aware of those 
uh, uh, time challenges uh, because once you come here, you're super busy. So with the courses, with the student associations, with so many things. But as you said, you were able, so for example, to balance between all of those uh, different engagements and involvements within the different associations. So we still have a few more minutes. So if there are any other uh, questions that are there, please go ahead and uh, shoot them directly into uh, uh, the comments section of Facebook and YouTube. So um, before we are uh, moving on to the next question or to the uh, uh, end of the discussion, we would like to focus on uh, uh, another area. So how is living in Clermont like Orian? Is it easy to, for example, to move around? Do you need a car or you can manage everything through the public transportation? How is the city like? Is it a big city, medium size? Just share your input about that. What's great about Glamo is that you don't need a car. Uh, personally, I don't have my driving license, so you can imagine that I need to move around still, but I don't have a driving license. So, um, But there are a lot of ways uh, you can move around and just go uh, inside of Glamo and also outside. Um, there is an airport. Uh, which you can go to um, with the, the bus. You can take the bus. Um, there are also a lot of bus stations all around uh, Clermont-Ferrand. And there's the tram, um, which is the easiest way, I'd say, to get to one point to another. Um, and yeah, it's great living in Clermont. It's a young city. Um, it's fun. There are a lot of events, uh, musical. There is drama. There are lots of things you can do. Um, yeah, it, it's very great. It's a great city to live in as a student. Okay, great. And uh, you're originally coming from Termo itself or from the surroundings? Um, from the surroundings, yeah. I'm from a little. I'm from a little town called Isuar, and I take the train every day to get to school. Okay, so you can see but, I don't but need but a car. <laughs> it's very accessible, right? It's like yes. easy to, to to move around in Clermont, and Definitely. even there are lots there are lots of discounts also in, when it comes to mm -hmm. uh, uh, using the transportation specifically yeah. for the student population. For young people, yeah. Okay, and uh, Viken, how about uh, uh, the food options that are there? Because we know, for example, that uh, people particularly coming from India, they prefer to cook with their own spices. They sometimes prefer to go to some Indian restaurants. So how is it like for you to come to France where the food is really different from back home? So that was my biggest concern when I moved to Clermont. I was like, can I get my spices? Can I get... Yeah, absolutely, food? yeah. We are used to that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and surprisingly, yes. So there are Indian grocery stores where you can find all spices or you know all Indian products that you might need. And then there are Indian restaurants. There's one just in front of the school. So, you know, even for your lunch break, you can just cross the street and go to the Indian restaurant. So there are Indian restaurants that are, um, and not just Indian, there is world cuisine available. For a medium-sized city, it's a very good thing, I feel, that there is, you know, you know, Egyptian cuisine, there is Ethiopian restaurants, there are Japanese, Chinese restaurants, there's Indian restaurants, there are French, typical French restaurants, and, you know, fast food, you tell it. So there's everything available as in restaurants and if you need if you want to cook at home and you're just looking for raw materials you can fi find pretty much everything in Clermont itself so it's very easy to find exotic food products in that way and it's very practical because even if you want to cook at home you can easily go back since you live quite near the campus just for the lunch break and then come back or if you're feeling lazy or you want to try something new then of course you can go to one of those restaurants that we talked about like we can said we have so many options there is even a peruvian restaurant portuguese restaurant colombian everything you can find over here it's very much international and usually those restaurants of course are managed not by french people necessarily but from people from those countries so they have the authentic taste Thanks. of uh, the food okay i think uh, i think we have uh, managed to cover so a big amount of uh, uh, details that are, of course, uh, important to international students because once we decide to move abroad and to study in another country, 
we have so many questions related to how to deal with the culture shock. What is the language like? How is it? Uh, am I going to be able to involve in different activities other than the studies? How will I meet people? So many important things. So we tried our best to provide you with a clear picture of all those uh, uh, information and details. So before closing the discussion, I'd like to uh, ask uh, Orian if you would like to give perhaps a recommendation to international students regarding involving in the student association, or it can be just a general piece of advice. Um, I would tell them to not be nervous because ESC Clamo is used to having uh, international students and uh, this way there is no problem for them uh, integrating themselves into the school. So just be yourself and we're really looking forward to seeing you next year. Thank you so much. Viken, do you have something to share to international students coming uh, to ESC Clermo? I just suggest if you have time and resources, just try to learn a little bit of French, you know, like, hello, how are you, etc. It just helps to, you know, break the ice in the beginning to have a conversation with a French person. They are as hesitant as you are in you know, speaking <laughs> a foreign language. So don't hesitate, as Orian said, just go in and you'll be welcomed. We're looking forward to seeing you. That's why it was really interesting. So to have a French person over there and an international person to really provide you with a transparent uh, feedback about how things work and how this bond is created. So between both the French students and the international students. So before ending the talk, we would like to remind you of, of a few important details regarding the admission. So the admission process is still running till the end of July, 31st of July. So you have one month to go. So please start your application as soon as possible if you would like to join our school. You can apply completely online through our application portal, which is over there. Uh, and we will ask you so to provide some documentation, uh, CV, motivation letter, and so on. You will find the full details on the same page. That's the first step. And the second step, we uh, will uh, proceed with the video interview. If you have any further questions, please be my guest and do write me directly on my email over there. And if you would like to have a great uh, study experience, and not just about studies, but to also involve in very active student associations, like we have said, so don't hesitate to uh, go for this experience like Orian and Vikan did. So thank you so much to my guests today, Orian and Vikan, for uh, your time and for all the interesting details that you have shared. Thank you for having thank us. You. Thank you so much. We'd like to thank all our followers and stay tuned because in half an hour exactly we are going to be presenting the MSc in International Commerce and Digital Marketing with the head of program Balash and Samia, another student of the school. So I'll see you in a while. Meanwhile, take care and we'll talk very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.